everyone, I'm Laurel, this is Aaliyah, hopefully you recognize us from somewhere. Today we will be doing a Coke and Mentos experiment, except um, we're not using Mentos, we're using baking soda. Mm -hmm. So the law we have is Charles' Law, and Charles' Law, it's like, it's the V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, it's talking about how temperature and volume are directly related to one another, so if the temperature is higher, that means the volume is also going up. Same thing, if there's like a lower temperature, the volume is also not going to be as high, so there's a direct relationship. This directly relates to the experiment because we are depending on the temperature of the cup. When we put in the baking soda, there will be either a higher or lower reaction in the volume of the coke, as noted on the sides of the bottle. We know the volume by using measuring cups and we'll get higher temperatures by using the stove. Today we're going to be using coke for the experiment and for the hotter temperatures it's going to be heated up in this pan of the stove which we're going to measure using a thermometer and just to make sure we have the right measurements of coke we're going by milliliters right here. The experiment is going to be brought on by some baking soda. We're going to use one fourth cup of each. And to make sure we have the right measurements on the sides of the glass jars, we have a sharpie. The temperature is changed by heating up or pouring down the coke. Shocking. So we're going to measure the volume by how much foam is produced by the mixture of coke and baking soda. And the only changing variables are the temperatures of the coke. Everything else is fixed. How much baking soda there's going in and how much liters of coke within each experiment. When it reads, the foam rises up to a certain number of units, helping us determine what kind of temperatures produce what kinds of volume and the pattern that goes along with it. Our first test subject is going to be about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. that we're going to do is 250 degrees Fahrenheit. so good. <laughs> We've concluded that volume and temperature are directly related. Here, when the temperature of the coke increased, the volume increased too. A decrease of the temperature means that not as much volume will be produced either. This is supported by Charles' Law, which states that volume and temperature are directly proportional to each other. You may recognize it as V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Hopefully this visual helped you better understand Charles Law. So thanks for watching. You may recognize it as V1 over V2 equals V2 over T2. I never said V1 over T2. Okay. Well, I'll just say it again. You may that was a crazy last reaction, I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs>
You made it back in. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs>